parties who've had a bigger impact on politics this past decade than UKIP. Nigel Farage led them as they forced the issue of Brexit up the agenda, of course, and while he might be away, his old outfit are still around. And Donald Mackay leads the party in Scotland. There he is. Thanks very much indeed for joining us this evening, Mr Mackay. Uh, obvious first question. Uh, Brexit's happened. We're out of Europe. What's the point in UKIP? Well, the point in UKIP, both in Scotland and in Wales, is that we're the only mainstream party campaigning to get rid of the respective assemblies, in this case the Scottish Parliament. It's a glorified and expensive form of local authority. It's unnecessary. It should be deposited in the nearest recycling receptacle. The First Minister of Scotland earns more money than the Prime Minister of Great Britain. That's a nonsense. So we want to offer a voice to those who don't want the Parliament in the first place, which we estimate, according to a poll which we carried out ourselves, to be around about 16% of the population of Scotland. Really? 16% of 16... the population don't believe in the Scottish Parliament? Well, absolutely. Survation poll, January 2020. You can give you a copy if you want it. Uh, I mean, uh, that would be interesting to see it. Uh, the, the, yep. the, the, the general consensus... Well, if it's... the media would pay attention to it, we did circulate it at the time, but the media ignore us. Uh, despite all the progress that the, the Scottish Parliament has made, tuition but, fees, free personal you're, you're care, joking. land reform, but, the smoking ban, all you're, that You're stuff. joking. The Scottish Parliament is a joke. It elevates political mediocrity into an art form. There are no, there are no uh, Heseltines, Foots, Bens or Churchills amongst that lot. There are a lot of... There are none of them in Westminster anymore well, either. There's well, a whole okay, different generation of politicians That's fighting different Fair enough, politics. but what we've got is a lot of sixth formers having a debate and earning very nice money for doing so. Supporting. Making socially democratic progress for a, a Scotland in the 21st century, most That's, would argue, according well, to your figures. Well, I wonder, I wonder, I would question that, I would question that. So we are standing to give a voice to those who want rid of the Scottish Parliament, as our colleagues are in Wales, to give a voice to those who want rid of the Welsh Assembly. We're a national party. That's our purpose here. OK, let's look at UKIP's great hobby horse, Brexit. Here's a straight question for you. What's Brexit done for Scotland? Um, what's Brexit done for Scotland? Well, Brexit has... Brexit still... Arguably, we haven't had a proper Brexit anyway, because we always argued that we should leave without any deal whatsoever. And that didn't happen, which is why we've got the... Uh, the difficulty in Northern Ireland. I am one of those people who believes that governments do not, well, not so much I believe, UKIP is a party that believes that governments don't solve problems, they create them, and the best way that, that we can have a prosperous economy is to let businesses thrive in an environment which is not uh, regulated by government any more than is necessary. Scotland has 300,000 small businesses. I'm one of them. We get no assistance at all from and government. And many of them are going to suffer grievously because, you, of, the, because of the impact of you, Brexit. That's, that, I don't agree with that at all. But they are going to suffer. Well, they're that many of them are saying they will. But, and many of them are not. Brexit's, Brexit's good news for some, bad news for others. That's life. But Brexit gives us, as a British nation, the opportunity to make our own laws. That's the good thing about it, which wasn't the case before we, were, before we left. The group of people who were perhaps looking forward to Brexit more than any other were the fishing fleets of uh, the, the Scottish coastal communities. They were promised a sea of opportunity. And as, as one skipper told us the other day, what they've got is a tide half in. Well, that's fair enough. I mean, I'm not disputing that. Our policy is quite clear on that one. We would be going back to giving 12-mile fishing limits around the, 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 the seas for Scotland. The Conservatives always do one thing. They always let you down, and Brexit has let us down. But it's, not, it's because it's not a clean Brexit. And once it settles, assuming it does settle, we, that is the British people, will be able to make their own laws governed by their own Parliament. All right, well, you have uh, made your point ahead of uh, Thursday's vote. Donald Mackay from UKIP, thank you very much indeed. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's hear.